Whether or not you're interested in science or biology, you've probably heard of invincible little creatures called water bears or tardigrades. These little creatures can survive in the vacuum of space and through extreme temperatures, radiation, pressures, and toxins in the environment. Do these little guys have brains? And if so, what do those brains look like? Hello Neuronauts and welcome back to Cognic, where we talk about brains. Today we're discussing tardigrades, and more specifically the tardigrade nervous system. In this video, I'm going to use terms like ventral and dorsal. If you don't understand what those mean, I've actually done an entire video on words we use to describe places in the brain, and I'm going to link that in the description in case you want to check it out. To get started, let's think about your nervous system. Humans have two major nervous systems. The CNS, or central nervous system, which includes your brain and your spinal cord, and the PNS, or peripheral nervous system, which includes all the other nerves that branch off the central nervous system into your body. These interface with things like your skin, your organs, or in your limbs. Humans have a dorsal brain attached to a dorsal nervous system. The nervous system goes down your back. Tardigrades are a bit different though. Tardigrades have a dorsal brain just like us. If you look at a picture of a tardigrade, the brain is kind of where you would expect. But instead of being connected to a dorsal nervous system, the tardigrade brain is connected to a ventral nervous system. It runs along their underbelly. Try to imagine if your spine was on your front and ran down your stomach. A Little bit weird, right? You might be thinking that an underside nervous system is pretty alien, but it's actually really common among invertebrates, or animals that don't have a spine. Think about it, if you're a creature like a caterpillar, then having your nervous system close to your moving parts, or your feet, is actually a pretty smart idea. Having the tardigrade nervous system be close to its feet allows it to send signals quickly between these important muscles and the brain. As I mentioned before, tardigrades are invertebrates, and they don't have bones. They do have a lot of muscles, especially in their lower area, close to their legs. Their major nerve cord runs along their underbelly and is made up of four major ganglions. A ganglion is a bundle of neuron cell bodies. The four tardigrade ganglions that make up the nerve cord are called GA1, GA2, GA3, and GA4. They just numbered them. GA stands for ganglion. So what can a tardigrade brain sense from the outside world? Well, tardigrades have long hairs on their body that they can use to sense things about the environment, kind of like the whiskers on a cat. They also have very simple rudimentary eyes. These eyes can't see color, but they're more like brightness sensors. They can tell the tardigrade whether or not it's light or dark. Not a lot is known about the evolution of the tardigrade nervous system, but there are some theories about where their nervous systems evolved from. A lot of questions still remain, but it's hypothesized that the tardigrade nervous system and the arthropod nervous system either evolved to be similar independently of each other, or they share a common ancestor with a similar nervous system. I'd like to quickly add that a lot of the images that you've seen in this video so far are from a really good scientific paper that I'll cite down in the description. If you're a scientific mind and you want to learn more about this, definitely check out that scientific paper. So now, inevitably, when your friends bring up tardigrades, as they commonly do, you can impress them with crazy tardigrade neuroscience facts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this kind of video, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications for the channel. Leave this video a like and comment below with another animal brain that you'd like to learn more about. Take care of your brains, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.